morning, campers. Welcome to the last day of week one. We are one week away from this show, so keep practicing. Have you ever wanted to know how to solve a crime? That's what the campers down in CSI Pride Land are learning. Our field reporter, Ashlyn, went to go check it out. Good morning, campers. Today I'm here with... Callan and Jonah. And today we're visiting the CSI class. So, what do you guys normally do in this class? Learn about their recruit equipment and how to use it. Nice. How about you, Jonah? Uh, investigate crime scenes and how to, you know, track and understand. That sounds really fun. Do you, either of you guys know what CSI stands for? No. What about you? Uh, crime scene investigation. Cool. I never knew that. Okay. Um, what did you guys learn about today? We learned about how to use their big drones and what they use them for. Do you know how much the big drone cost, Jonas? Uh, for, uh, 40, 47450 dollars. Wow, that's a lot of money. What's your guys' favorite thing that you've done in the class? I think my, I think, I think when we did the fingerprints. Uh, just learn about this drone and its nice. abilities. Would you guys recommend this class to new campers who may be coming next year? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for interviewing with me today. Back to the studio. Thanks for checking it out, Ashlyn. Up next, Simba's Secrets. Since you already know about the play, we're going to learn a little bit more about the movie. The movie came out in 1994. The Lion King was the first ever Disney movie to be based off an original storyline. To create accurate representations of how the animals moved, they brought real-life animals on set. In the play, we're using different masks and puppetry. In camp, we have a class where we can create our own. It is called Art of the Mask, and it is being taught by Mr. Matt. Hello, campers. Today, we're outside of the mask making class with Terrence and Avery. So, what kind of masks have you guys been making in this class? I've been making a Pumbaa one. That sounds really cool. What about you, Avery? I've been making a Nala one and a female one. Aw, nice. What kind of materials do you guys typically use to make the masks? Paint, hot glue guns, like cardboard, felt, that kind of thing. Cool. What do you use, Avery? I use strings, like cardboard strings, um, and cardboard and markers. Cool. And that kind of thing. <laughs> nice. Um, do you guys know if your masks will be in the play or not? You can decide if you want them in the play or not. Nice. Do you guys think you'll want yours in the play or not? I want mine. I think it'd be pretty cool to have your mask in the play. Are you guys excited to do our Lion King musical this year? Really? Do you, what are you playing in the musical, Terrence? We're based, me and her are in the same class, so we're the grass, we're animals, and we're the trees. That sounds really fun. Do you guys both like this class? Would you take it again next year? Yes. Okay, well thank you for interviewing with us. Back to the studio. Those masks are beautifully designed. Remember, you can check out all the wonderful artwork in the atrium on the night of the show. Well, that brings week one of Pride Rock News to an end. See you next week.